What's the difference between this and this? While they're both apples, one is sweeter than the other, but which one? No, no, no. You're not allowed to try before you buy at the grocer's. Instead, maybe you can use this. This is the SIO, a pocket molecular sensor developed by Consumer Physics, which works with the SIO smartphone app to analyze organic matter ranging from food to body fat. The sensor uses near-infrared light waves to determine the molecular makeup of objects. This reveals the sugar, fat, and even protein composition of foods. Armed with this data, you can even find out which fruit in a bunch is the sweetest but no sane person would actually waste their time doing that. After the unfortunate genocide of our strawberry population, we needed to restock on our food and decided to bring the sayo along for the ride. We're using the sayo here to determine the sugar content of different kinds of apples. For a apples to apples comparison. Okay, first test. Let's pick an apple. Driscoll's brand strawberry, because we know those are probably the sweetest. So we've stumbled upon some organic strawberries. We figured we'd compare them to the original kind to see if there's any difference in their sweetness. That's a huge jump. So we should go with the organic one. Yeah, we we'll go with the organic wow. one. Now the sayo isn't just limited to fruits and vegetables. Once we got home, we had to look through the fridge for other interesting things to scan. So the sayo has an option to scan dairy products like milks and cheeses. So, to test it out, we're going to be using a high protein version of milk compared to a fat-free version to see if there's any difference in the protein content. To start, we'll open up the Dairy Mini Applet on the phone app. And then we'll start by scanning the skim milk. And here's the results for the skim milk. 
less than 3% fat, 5 grams of protein per 100 grams of milk. Now we'll try with the Fairlife high protein milk. This has similarly less than 3% milk fat and 5 grams of protein per 100 grams of milk. Hmm, interesting. Well, according to that conclusion, we may be getting gypped on our more expensive milk. The milk results got us thinking. Is the Sio not very accurate, or is there actually a difference in the milk? The software is fairly new and still in beta, so it's very possible that it's not accurate. To test this, we did two experiments, one measuring multiple samples from different brands of milk, and also one comparing water to milk after protein isolate is added to both. Once the numbers are factored by 2.4 to represent how much would be present in a normal serving, the label on the Fairlife was accurate, but the generic brand milk had one and a half times more protein than what was on the label. For more details, you can review the link to the results posted in the video description. In conclusion, while the Sio can't explicitly tell you the quality of food, it's a step in the right direction to empowering consumers to help them make more informed decisions about what they put in their pie holes. And plus, it's really cool tech.